let's talk about measures of central tendency. If we um, put some numbers in here, and I'll make them up, 33, 5, 17, 41, 52, 33, 47, that's good enough. If we want to do the average or the mean, down here I can type average, and I'll put inside a parentheses the mean. This can be whatever you want it to say. This is just kind of a, a description. Now over here is where we're going to put our formula. So I do an equals average and as you start typing it you'll have a list pop up here and you can come down here and click average and it'll fill that out for you it'll put the beginning parentheses and now i'm going to do a1 colon a7 this is the range where our data falls you notice it starts in cell a1 goes through a7 and i put a closing parentheses now it has to be exact like that you have to have an equals it has to say average it has to have beginning parentheses and closing parentheses and your range is in there and then you press enter and that gives you your mean now you can um i'm going to do median so I'll just type median again that's a description that can be whatever you want to put there and then i'll do equals and i'll start typing median and again once that pops up you can click that or you can do a tab to go ahead and accept it and again it's looking for a range so do a1 colon a7 closing parentheses Again, it has to be exact like that. You have to have that equals. It has to say median. You have to have a beginning parentheses, closing parentheses, and then your range in the middle there. And then you press enter. Now, um, for the add-ons, if I click add-ons, Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack, and start. It'll appear over here on the side, and there's one that says descriptive statistics. So if I click that, there's an input range here. And I can come here and I can click, and um, I'll do a backspace, clean out whatever it pops up, and I'll type A1 colon A7. Again, we're telling the range where our data is. And it's grouped by columns. Um, output range, this is where you want to put it at. And you just have to put the starting cell. So if I want to put it over here at F1, then I'll type F1. And it's got extra, so I'll backspace to F1. And you can leave all this marked. The summary of statistics is an important one. And if I click OK, you'll see it comes up with mean and um, median here. Also gives us mode. I wouldn't trust mode. This time it worked because I had two 33s. But I had a, a different problem where. Um, I didn't have any numbers repeat, and it still tell me a mode instead of telling me there is none. Uh, so I wouldn't trust that. Use mean and median for this class. Uh, mode, you just visually look at it and see which value occurs most often. Now, if you can't see what this exactly says, you can come up here, put your mouse between uh, those two columns. When it becomes a double arrow, you click your left mouse button, hold down, and drag over, and you can make it bigger. Now, um... Let's say I got my numbers here, and I'll change this. I'll put some more numbers in here. There we go. Now for your input range, if I come over here, it still says A1 to A7. I can backspace through all those. Let's say you got blank. If I come over here and click on A1 and drag down to A9, it doesn't appear like it's changing anything over here, but if you click over here, it'll actually fill that in then. Uh, it'd be nice if it's a little bit more dynamic on that. If I wanted to put in a different output range, again, I can backspace through that. And then if I click over here at I for one, for example, and again, if I click in the cell here, it'll actually fill it in. And then if I click OK, then you'll see the same items appear. Except for this case, since I added more numbers, my mean is different. Now, the the descriptive statistics is nice. The, the, the beauty of the formula is, is um, I think I added those two in there. That was our original ones. And that's what these formulas are based upon. If I click in the cell, you see up here it says equals average A1 to A7. Which means if I come up here and change the number, like I put 5 in there, what you'll see is it will automatically change down here. The descriptive statistics, what came up here, will not change. This is just set in stone. So that's a benefit of using an average. 
to close Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack, you just click the X to close it here. And to clean all this out, you can click down here, left mouse button, hold down, drag until it's all highlighted. And you can press delete to clean that out. But that's measures of central tendency.